right, here we are, ready to go with another confession. If it's the best of the week, then Bruce and Shirley, who send this in. <laughs> I've changed the names. OK, I've already... Yeah, go on. I think we changed the names, changed the names. I think we changed the names a couple of times. I know. <laughs> and I'm sure one day he just changed them back to where they were <laughs> yeah. originally by mistake. Dear Father Simon, Sister Susie, brother from the gutter, here we go then. <laughs> Let me tell you, says Bruce is what my guess is. Let me tell you a story of every an everyday parent's nightmare. I'll change the names to the people don't even know today wow. that this happened. Uh-oh. So pour yourself a stiff drink, close the curtains, and I will begin. I think, Bruce, you're building your part up here. You're writing a confession, <laughs> not afternoon theatre. But anyway, <laughs> he's painting pictures with words. That's what he's doing. Right, OK, cool. Was that a thing? Afternoon <laughs> it theater? was. In the 70s. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> a group of us decided to go on holiday to Florida to visit the home of the mouse with the big ears. Now, I know about the mangroves and the beaches and the swamps and Key West and Key Largo, yada, yada, but it was Disney World for us, baby. The Magic Kingdom, the rides, the overpriced character breakfasts, <laughs> The choice of Disney music on the radio, the Disney-themed drinks at the bar, the Disney bedrooms, Disney food, and Disney films on 24-7. I think the clue here yeah. wow. uh, for you, uh, Bruce, is the world Disney. Yeah. And then world. World. After world of Disney. Disney. World yes, of Disney. It's, world of it's Disney. everything Disney yeah. that you could possibly want. That's what Disney World is all about. <laughs> well, one day, two of our group, who will rename Denise and David, wanted a day to themselves for some quality adult time without their child called Baby David. Not a very original name, really, <laughs> considering the father, but we overlooked their lack of creativity and assumed it was because they were a gangster family or something <laughs> like that. Somewhere where the patriarchy still ruled and is waiting to be dismantled. Now, my guess is that might have been Shirley who, <laughs> yes. who added that bit. Yeah. So being the nice people that we always promised our fairy godmothers that we'd grow up to be, we said we would take Baby Davy with us as we were going to visit downtown Miami. I mean, I wouldn't want to take a ba <laughs> Why? baby okay. downtown Miami. But anyway, we volunteered. We were actually leaving the Magic Kingdom. So off we all set, full of the joys of spring. All of us, Denise and Big David, to presumably canoodle and frolic. Whilst me and my wife, the borrowed baby David, and Jim and Babs from Birmingham, two others on our trip, we all set off uh, in the big car. I'm not sure that borrowed baby is quite the right way <laughs> no. to think of baby David. <laughs> Whilst we were out, we decided to visit the Harley Davidson showroom. Mm. And I think we were hoping to gain back some of our lost youth. Anyway, we had a lovely time looking around the showroom. There was the VR 1130cc custom cruiser. Very nice. The Dyne FD, uh, FXDX Super Glide. The Sportster 1202. All your favourites were there, Father Simon. We stroked the chrome. We sat on the leather. We imagined that we were on Route 66 with Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda and all that kind of thing. Wow. Anyway, by now, we were tired and it was gin o'clock. So we all met up outside the showroom to find somewhere to quench our thirst. We'd been walking for some time and, I believe it was me, realised that we actually didn't have baby oh, no. David with us anymore. No, no, no. I looked at Jim... And Barbara, and they looked at us, and each of us said, I thought you had baby Davy. But no, neither of us did. Well, Jim's face turned white, and he and I ran at top speed back to the showroom. <laughs> it was only a few minutes, but it felt like a lifetime. He ran faster than anyone had ever run ever before, only to find baby Davy still asleep in the pushchair, next to, I must say, a rather stunning touring 1750 Ultra. <laughs> oh, no. Immaculate condition, low mileage, heated grips as well. Oh, really? oh, good. Jim must have been daydreaming about riding this bike with the wind blowing through his last few strands of hair, <laughs> as it was he, <laughs> it was he who had forgotten that he had the baby in his control except that he didn't anyway all safe we went to fill our glasses with some strong pop to calm ourselves later on denise and dave joined us they could not understand why we all looked somewhat shaken and stirred mm -hmm. oh it doesn't again first of the week <laughs> first of the week 
<laughs> they couldn't understand, these parents, why we looked shaken and stirred and not talking to each other. Also, we never offered to look after the baby again for obvious reasons, but I need to seek forgiveness. Not really from Dave and Denise, but from baby Davey, as we completely forgot that we had him, which is not really something that grown-ups should do. No. To this day, Father Simon, they don't know that we lost the most precious thing in their life whilst we were dreaming of driving those Harleys. Uh, so it was kind of... Uh, I'm not that, that impressed with Bruce and Shirley, really. Distracted by the chrome, mm. they forgot about the baby. Mm. I don't think I'm going to forgive. What do you think, Sister Susie? The voice of responsibility. Well, I just think the fact that it was that long ago and they can still remember all the details about the um, particular Harley that it was just shows you how how distracted they were and they didn't really care about uh, baby Davy. So I, I just think, no, not forgiven. Mm. If you're going to take your friend's baby, you look after it and you don't lose it. I think that's a fair comment. Let's try the brother from the gutter. Well, <laughs> I'm going to forgive. <laughs> uh, just, I mean, uh, number one, uh, I mean, I went to Florida once. I shan't be going back uh, a little bit too... Uh, too hot for my liking, and um, I thought bit the reference too bling to, as well. Bit too, bit of a, quite a lot of bling uh, there. I thought the reference to last few strands of her that felt unnecessary. But I'm going to forgive. <laughs> I'm going to forgive because of the shaken, not stirred reference on today of all days. <sighs> right. So yes, I am forgiving again. <laughs> wow. Uh,